Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. Today we're going to be returning to postmodern jukebox and specifically going to be listening to a song that a ton of you have been recommending for a very long time. This song features four vocalists, two of whom I've heard and love and two of whom I've not heard. So this should be a lot of fun. This is going to be all about that bass. So a cover of the Megan Trainer big hit. It is such a fun song. It's also about body positivity, which I really, really dig. And we're gonna be listening to Casey Abrams. He's the new, uh, the new bass and vocalist in this. Also to Ariana Savalas. So first time hearing both of them. And then we'll be hearing Morgan James and Haley Reinhardt as well. Let's get to it. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size to, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. Cause I got that boom, boom, that all the boys are chasing. Oh, this is really fun how the sun just immediately it dove in. There were lots of really cool sounds happening right away. I know it's just, it feels like it's stripped down in some ways, but there is so much vocally happening immediately that definitely makes the ears perk up for me. I love this bass handoff that happened. I also really dig the characters that each person in the video is really um, inhabiting right away. I like that. Uh, Casey's voice has... Like, it's just such a natural, jazzy feeling to it. There is not much vibrato. He's not really overdoing any sort of uh, enunciation. It's very casual enunciation meant to feel like, like it's your friend and it's just fun. And I like the way he even like, uh, sometimes it like some like sideways shifting in the mouth too. Really fun. Uh, a lot of play in his voice already that I heard. And then of course, uh, Haley, I just... I love that smoky, sultry timbre that she's got going on. Um, she can really add more air to it or give it a little bit more of a dense sound as well. She's able to play so much. And I feel like if there was one word to describe Haley's voice, I would call it playful. It's really fun. Let's go back. Surprise. There's some really cool things that were happening. I want to point a couple out. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, and no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. So there's this really fascinating way that he's going off of the word bass. That is, uh. It can go into about as the next word, but it also can become a shadow vowel at times. It's this kind of hybrid, which is super fun and makes sense in the song. So instead of um, singing bass, about that bass, about that bass, bass about that bass, right? So he'll have like about, he'll take the shadow vowel, which is where you are still phonating essentially after you go to a consonant. Um, once you release that consonant, if you continue to phonate, a shadow vowel happens right afterwards. So bass. Uh, and that works if you want to say about, and then he also leaves that in a couple times later when he doesn't have the word uh, about right afterwards. He has like bass and no trouble. It's kind of cool. You hear that shadow vowel a lot in opera, especially in Italian. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. <laughs> so much character. I'm all about <laughs> yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size to, but I can shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do. Cause I got that boom, boom, that all the boys are chasing all the right junk in all the right places. <laughs> I see those magazines working on Photoshop. You know that stuff ain't real. Come on and make it stop. If you got beauty. <laughs> I love all of the little slides that she does. She's like, she really can do little slides. She can do big slides, any kinds of slides. She has a lot of fun with them and, and sprinkles them in everywhere. And I love the way um, at one point she had 
a little more balance and articulation um, to like add to that sort of uh, the rhythm aspect. And often your bass is going to be included in your rhythm section. Uh, not all the time, but most of the time you're going to have bass included in rhythm section in this sort of situation. And it's so much fun to hear the way she's um, added a little bit of articulation. Let's go back and catch that point. It was Ah, I want to say around here, maybe. Oh, the red blazes. <laughs> I so see those magazines working nice on Photoshop. You know that stuff ain't real. Come on and make it stop. If you got beauty. Right there, the way she gets off of you got beauty. It's really fun because she's leaving space between the notes, and that's what creates that extra articulation and extra sense of rhythm. Uh, a lot of people think singing is always just about line and you know line is super important but having that space between notes or even cutting notes off early is a really great way to draw attention and uh, add a little spice to a phrase they raise them up cause every inch of you is moving from the battle to the die my mama she tells me don't worry about your side she said The way she sang that was perfect. She leaned into her chest voice and then flipped up to her head voice. At the, oh, wow. That was so cute and delightful. Love this Louis Armstrong-esque growl as well. Um, most of the time, that kind of growl is made from your Aria epiglottic folds, by the way. Just a little fun trivia for you. Let's go back to that. Oh, it was great. Oh, no, here? There we go. Morgan about to sing. Yes. Love them both. Man, I um, just want to talk a little bit more about that growl that Haley's got going on. Uh, a lot of people will try to replicate this kind of growl by doing it at their true vocal folds. And that's where you get into danger. So uh, that's where you have things like damage happen or essentially like fraying of the vocal folds. You don't want to do that. Um, when I mentioned earlier, this aryepiglottic folds, those um, that's an area that is above your true vocal fold. So Haley right now, she's creating sound and pitch at her true folds. Um, and then you don't hear any of that wear and tear on her voice afterwards. So she creates that sound at her true folds. And then above that is another area where you can sort of create a little bit of um, compression, if you will, in the vocal tract. And then uh, those area epiglottic folds then will come together and create a little more rumbling. So it's like a little distortion on top of the sound, essentially. But you have to have one plus the other or you get into trouble. I love, love, love the way that Haley does it. And to then go ahead and move along. Because you know I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no treble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no treble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no treble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. Their voices together and I love the way that both of them have this sort of hip hand uh, snap thing going as well uh, really that's a nice combination of sounds concentration in Morgan's belt up here and I just love her attitude. Morgan is one of the most authentic artists that I, I feel like I've gotten a chance to talk with. She, she really adds so much of herself and her personality into everything she sings. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love her mouth shapes here too, right? Look at the way she plays with the mouth shape when she's belting. You think you're fat? Oh, let's go back to the beast. I'm bringing booty back. Go ahead and tell those skinny ladies that. <laughs> her, her 
her mouth is just beautiful. I love like even on back, you can see this gorgeous tongue shape in there. Um, and she really uses so much of her mouth to enunciate and add little sort of cherries on top of the vocal line. Now I'm just playing. I know you think you're fat, but I'm here to tell you every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. Hey, my mama, she told me don't worry about the size. She said boys like her little more booty to hold the night. <laughs> now, Morgan just said the same thing that Haley was doing where she left a little more space between some of those notes and phonations to add to the rhythmic aspect. Size. She said boys like her Because you know I'm that done before. I've seen some really fun things done with a bass before or, or cello too or like I've seen acrobats like dancing on top of uh, large string instruments but I've never seen this where you have two people playing it at the same time four hands on a bass. Wow uh, that, that works so well for this song. What a fun idea to put in here. So it looks like essentially you have um, one person that's got like some of the strings that they can work with and the other person that's got the other set of strings. And I'm I'm amazed that they also put in the switch in the middle there because I would be so scared if I was playing that. Of course, I don't play bass, but I'd be scared of like accidentally bumping one of the strings because the moment you, you know, put your fingers on the wrong part of the string, you might mess the other person up. Uh, I want to see that section again. This is awesome. What a fun, uh... So if that's what you're wow. into, then go ahead and move along. Nice, nice Because handle. you know I'm... I think that there's another little trick to this and what they're doing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, maybe a little more. Go ahead. Oh, by the way, this transition where it's handed off and it's just like you have a break completely in the vocal so that this can suddenly come in and take center. I like that uh, sudden switch. It's really cool. Very well, well done. Great arrangement. Because you know I'm... <laughs> Look at that moment right before when they're getting set. They're like, oh gosh, is your hand on top? Uh, is this what it's? Oh, okay. Whew, here we go. Because oh, you know no. Oh, underneath. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we have Casey. It looks like Casey's taken over the left side of the strings. And then Adam Kubota is our other bass player here. This is cute how he's got the right side. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> and you'll notice when they uh, they switch here, um, you see that the person that is playing, um, that when Casey moved to be in front, he went over to the right side of the string. So they basically completely switched places. I wonder if that has to do um, with the person that is on the top part of the neck there. If maybe uh, uh, like right now Adam's hands might be also affecting the top part of the strings that Casey is playing. But if Casey is further down on the string, it's not gonna matter as much. Oh, it's so cool. You <laughs> see my mama, she told me don't worry about your side. Uh, 
this is this is Ariana now. I've never heard her before, but I feel like she would make a fabulous Cruella Deville. There's something about her that just speaks to me. Cruella Deville. I love. Um, like she does have a sultry aspect to her voice as well. Actually, all three of these ladies have sultry, but like sultry in different kinds of colors. That's very a great combo. Also really dig that combination of voices. It's like all three of these voices, um, they have this element that is similar and so they really blend nicely together, but they also have so much character of their own that you can hear each very distinctly. Um, and just, I really appreciate the really wide range in Morgan's voice. Uh, voice. She's able to go on top here and uh, just has like a very nice sort of middle of her timbre voice. Uh, she's picking out something that won't overpower in any way, will sit nicely harmonizing on top um, so that we can continue to hear Ariana's voice more central. Ariana singing the melody, but it's often easy to get caught up and listen to the higher pitches, which are the harmony in this case, that's what Morgan is singing. And we need a person uh, in this kind of situation who's able to go up and not blast out too strong, but still have enough strength and support. And Morgan has done that balance perfectly. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. That's nice. This is like very Andrew Sisters for a moment. And they're, I like that they've coordinated their hand movements too. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. Oh, that's cool. So I think we have, uh, I think we have Ariana on the bottom and Haley in the middle and Morgan on top there in the parts. It's really, really nice. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, about the bass. Such a cute weak side off. Wait, one more time. About the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all about. <gasps> Did you see that? Somebody waved in the background. I'm all about the bass, about the bass, no trouble. I'm all oh, about hilarious. the bass, about the bass. No I don't know who that was, but that might be my favorite. Well, no, the like the really cool bass part is my favorite moment in the video so far. This little uh, peek from above Haley's elbow that was adorable. I'm all about the bass, by the bass. I'm all about the bass, by the bass, no trouble. I think I want to say that that's Chip. I want to say that that's the drummer. That's hilarious. I'm all about the bass, by the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, by the bass, no trouble. I'm all about the bass, by the bass. Amazing. I love the way that this featured so many different musicians. It really handed off the spotlight very well. Uh, even handed off the spotlight to some person that waved in the back, which was adorable. Uh, and it was fun to hear essentially four different takes on that melody, right? And then it was really fun to hear how those voices weaved in and out and um, and really complimented each other. I thought that was super lovely to get to hear them all together. Um, I liked seeing a lot of the coordination between movements. It was pretty simple, but uh, very coordinated and very effective. And then that bass part was just so awesome. Like I said, I've never seen anything like that before. And I thought it showed 
uh, so much fun and creativity and it, yeah, it was just really awesome to get to see. The overall arrangement of the song was also fantastic. And that's something that I've come to expect from Postmodern Jukebox. I really, I guess I have high expectations from Postmodern Jukebox every time now. I've been very, very impressed by the wide array of arrangements and creativity. Super awesome. They're just a really great group. So if you haven't already subscribed to them, you definitely should. And if you haven't subscribed here, you should subscribe as well and turn on the bell for notifications because I'm hoping that you're gonna write down below this video recommendations for the next song you would like to see on the channel. We watch those recommendations, we tally them, and we do the songs that you request the most, like this one. So thank you so much for your suggestions, and please feel free to come and join me every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. That's when we have live premieres on the channel and we have a live chat. And you can also come and find me on Patreon and also at thecharismaticvoice.com. I'll see you somewhere soon.